In an ordinary front yard in Adelaide's north, RSPCA Inspector Shelley found her. Zara, a dog in unimaginable pain. Everybody that saw her at the time was completely shocked by what they saw in her ears. It was uh, very uh, visually obvious that she had had problems. I don't know how she managed to walk around living like that. This cruelty case soon became one of the most complex and difficult our veterinarians have ever been involved with. The RSPCA, this is Julie. Oh, just in, in relation to this discovery, the dog that uh, they've put out the front is a, a female, and I noticed in its ears it looks like it's got tumours growing, big tumours growing in, in either ear. You can't even see the ear canal, it's just this big mass of flesh. When I attended the address, I actually recognised Zara from a job that we'd had earlier. So it was particularly disappointing to find out several months later that nothing had been done. And for her to tell me that Zara was a member of her family and she cared for her deeply, to allow her to sit there in her front yard and see her on a daily basis, suffering, shaking her head with pus coming out of her ears, it, was, it really affected me. In my 38 years in, in practice, I struggle to call any dog that's had such a, a significant inflammatory condition. She was also very thin and a pretty run down condition as well. She underwent quite a few medical procedures to try and determine how safe it was to try and remove the masses and it wasn't very easy to do at all and as a result of these anaesthetics we didn't really expect to find her pregnant. When we found out she was pregnant we had to change everything. We had to stop all of her plans for recovery in terms of the operations on her ears. When they were born, she was very protective of them initially and she didn't want us coming near her. She just wanted to look after them and she was such a good mum. To find out that Zara was pregnant, um, only six months after she'd had that initial litter, uh, she would have had no respite whatsoever. After I seized Zara, I actually interviewed the owner, I spoke to the vets. We gathered up all of that information and from there we put it all together in a file and we established whether there's actually been a breach of the Animal Welfare Act. We initially thought we could just perhaps remove the polyps when we first had her in and we attempted to do that but they were incredibly vascular and they bled very badly when we did that so we then realised we had to change the way we are going to approach it surgically. We've sort of fixed one ear but when she had a pups, we had to sort of put back fixing the other ear because when she has surgery, she has an Elizabethan collar on to prevent self-mutilation or damaging the ear when the sutures are in. While she was giving everything she could to these puppies, she couldn't put on any weight to be healthy. She still did not want to feed them, so we had to take her away a little bit more, make sure she was getting more meals, more time away, trying to reduce her stress as much as we could. The whole ear flap and the external ear canal was uh, removed. Then the skin was sutured to the remnants of the ear canal and she's got a little tunnel in the side of her head now where the end of the ear canal is obvious. The second time round, she's a lot more comfortable because we have found what works in terms of her skin medications. Once the puppies were weaned off her as well, she put on weight so quickly. Her whole personality has changed now. She's not uncomfortable, she's confident, she's happy. She wants to be affectionate, she wants you to touch her now, whereas before she was always a little bit concerned that it might hurt her. So we're here today at Elizabeth Magistrate's Court. Just walked out of court. The owner of Zara uh, failed to attend, but the magistrate decided to deal with the matter in her absence. Uh, the owner received a uh, conviction, an $800 fine, uh, and also, and most importantly, a, uh, a prohibition order from owning animals in the future. Knowing that a magistrate has ruled to say that this dog wasn't properly looked after and making sure that that person is accountable for what they've done to her, that's, that's something and that's pretty huge. It's stories like this that make us realise that, you know, what an impact we're making out there for animal welfare and the animals out there that are suffering and pain and, and being neglected. Mm -hmm.